Well, so the first thing I noticed is that this screen is darker than this screen. Okay, just side by side you can tell. As you can hear, everybody quiet, listen. And uh, the MacBook, you can't. Unless it's really you're uploading a big file, 4K video or something. And the sound, a little different. All right, everybody, here it is. i5, eight gigs, not a bad little computer. Supposed to good reviews on it. Oh, she looks beautiful. Just looking at it from here, it's amazing. All right, so before opening this thing up, we're just gonna look and see you have your uh, USB headphones and uh, SD. You have your HDMI. And, you know, HPs, I never liked HPs. They have let me down. Don't know. All right, let's pop it open. It's pretty light. I mean, I gotta say it's light. Ooh, looks pretty. Looks really nice. Let's power it up. Look at the buttons. Okay, they're not Apple. I see I got Apple here. But, um, you know, it's not powering up. What I gotta do to power this thing up? Maybe plug it in? I'll look it back to you. All right, so it says plug it in and then push power. All right. Ooh, lights up nicely. Oh, I got this dirty. Nope. Lights up pretty nice. Nothing on the screen yet. You can connect to the internet and we're ready to go. Getting things ready, please. Don't turn off your PC. So. Wait for it. Yep. So it looks pretty nice. I mean, okay, well, let's, let's right quick compare a 13 and a half inch to a 14 inch um, MacBook Air. And then you're comparing to a pavilion so you can see there a little more quality in this it looks like or not well, let me turn up the screen maybe it's just the screen is kind of well if that's as bright as it goes I don't know if I like it well we'll see we'll see let's keep going guys we're still working on it looks nice mm -hmm. I mean uh, this um, Air book is a lot thinner than um, I think it's this go thing. Okay. As you can hear, everybody quiet, listen. You can hear it's working, and uh, the MacBook, you can't. Unless it's really you're uploading a big file, 4K video or something. Otherwise, you can't hear this Apple uh, AirBook. Well, so the first thing I noticed is that this screen is darker than this screen. Okay, just side by side, you can tell that um, AirBook is lighter, a lot more light. And see, this is on full, and this is on full. And the sound... A little different than this. Okay, so in my personal opinion, this is, um, I give it a 6 out of 10. And as you can see, I'm getting ready to do a system factory reset. But the first thing that kind of got me was this. Right? And this app pops up, which is, you know, I need a video editing since I make videos. So this app is really important. As you can see, what the heck is that? Whatever. Anyway, let's go try to download this app. Let's look at it first. Whoop! Bye bye. 
Um, and the screen, this is as, as bright as it gets. I'm not kidding you. And, and I know it may seem bright, but it's really, it's all white now. But if you're looking at a, a YouTube video or something or watching a movie, eh, not really, out, you wouldn't be able to use this outside. Let me just say that. You wouldn't be able to use this outside. I mean, it's a nice computer for 300 and 400 dollars, but it's nothing compared to an Apple. Even this basic MacBook Air, this thing you can't even compare. So, unfortunately, I'm going to take this baby back. Why? Because, I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad computer for $300. I have a Chromebook. I have a basic Chromebook. And I got to say that my little $200 Chromebook has a touch screen and this I was watching 4k videos on this and it was glitching and it may have something to do with the internet my internet connection which I have a really strong inter internet connection over 250 uh, um, MBPs uh, but this thing was lagging a little imagine being outside or even close remotely close to the Sun or to the door this thing wouldn't really, really work that well. So, in my personal opinion, it's not a bad computer for an HP. And as you can see, this is it's got one uh, terabyte of storage. There's plenty of storage space on this. Uh, and it's a uh, 8 gig. So it's pretty, pretty legit. Okay. They have a, a different uh, drive, which I believe instead of the Intel it has that AMC something that is crap I'm telling you so anyway this pavilion I'm saying goodbye to it's kind of nice and it's not bad bad but it's not it's not good for me for what I need anyway so you're looking at a HP pavilion beautiful laptop I give it a 6 out of 10 just to kind of show you what I mean is I have this um, MacBook Air, okay? Just kind of to show you, look at how thin that one is. And look at this. All right, it's pretty thick. The, the screen doesn't get as bright as this basic MacBook Air. Um, it has some glitches. Uh, it's pretty, it's okay for speed. It's not slow. This is actually pretty good compared to the HP I had back in the day. Not a bad little computer. It's supposed to good reviews on it. Smooth computing. You know, HPs, I never liked HPs because of, it just, They have let me down. I mean, I had one HP that literally I couldn't even open. I mean, it took forever to load a page. So bad. I was so mad at HP, I swear to you. But let's check this thing out.